Okay, what changed at WBAI? It's sort of complicated, it takes a long time, but let me just say this. What happened was people are not, they don't want to come together. They don't want, it's like one faction wants to be above another faction or whatever have you. There's no connectivity. And then I think at that particular time, yeah, I left before, that's right. Um, they were just having this, the money thing was happening. You know, we had bad management mm -hmm. up top. Right. Uh, people still had their hidden agendas for their old kind of things. See, as arts director, I never had a hidden agenda. I would always, you know, in fact, I was an unusual arts director because what I would do, you know, we'd get books in all the time, tapes, whatever have you, and I would actually give it to the producer that needed it. Mm -hmm. Other people would come and steal the stuff and go to, 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 to uh, what they call it, to strands of books to go down and sell the stuff. It's like, you know, you know that's stupid. So I'm not, I guess because I'm principal, okay. you know, my, I, I don't, I'm not a money person. I don't. I don't steal. I, I'm principal. I don't do. I don't. I, I, you you're, know. You're on the beat. Yeah, you're, exactly. You're, I'm not trying to beat. hustle. Right. I'm trying to help. I'm trying to. I'm here for piano. So anyway. So I guess. How could you say that? I guess what happened was, look at the time too. I should say this. I, I, I have engineering chops, and okay. I used to engineer for Democracy Now. Right. Okay. And this yeah. was this was before Amy Goodman or no no Amy Amy was Amy uh, is the, yeah okay. yeah yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. But what happened? Uh, Oh man, this is strange because what, what, what happened, we had that whole thing where, 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 where trees lead and they're trying to kick uh, uh, the, the whole coup, coup that was happening. Pacifica. Yeah, Pacifica and the whole thing in BA. Okay, so what happened was you, you uh, um, I, oh, I know what happened. I had been traveling and I came back when all this stuff was happening, right? And it was some sort of strange thing. And there's only certain people can, can engineer for Democracy Now. Uh -huh. This is a very tough program. Uh -huh. And so Matthew was engineering for them, and but he was he he, was, he took over as art director. So it would been a, some sort of weird conflict, you know, management if he would have did it. So 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 I became I became the engineer so he could still do it's a, it's a strategic thing we were doing. Right. You know what I mean? Because he had to keep him in place as art director and not get kicked out the station because he was one of the allies, whatever mm -hmm. have you. So I became the engineer for Democracy Now. I yeah. still was doing my normal radio program. And then, what, this is important though. So what happened with Democracy Now, when they got kicked out of BAI, they went to the Garrett, the, the firehouse, right, right. there, uh, uh, downtown community television, right? I was there for them there. Yeah. Then we were doing the program, 9-11 happened, da 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 Then, then, then um, uh, what happened? This guy, uh, Jurgens, I forget what his name, he, he came up to me in the Garrett, and, and there was, oh, the problem with the, the BAI, oh no, they were trying to kick Democracy Now! with BI. They wouldn't broadcast it. So we were, so uh, uh, Jersey Station was, was taking it and giving it to us and giving it to the people for, for right. only, only low. Oh, and uh, Manhattan Neighborhood Network was taking it. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, they were taking it because he was, that, that, so that's how they got around it, but, but still wasn't getting to a lot of people. That's what happened. So then what happened is we're in the Garrett and, and he opened up the thing and then that, that's when we saw the TV part and da da da, and that, that 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 started to grow because when we did that, free speech television took the took the feed too. Then we were in markets that we weren't before because Pacific was only in five five markets. Now we were in like Mississippi because of free speech in Arkansas, places like that. It was really amazing. Okay, now okay, now all this. Now, but there's one question I have to ask you: How did you survive? Pacifica don't pay a lot of money. No, no. WBAI don't pay a lot of money. I mean, how did you survive on? How did you make ends meet? Okay, I hear. You. It's very important, you know, no, you know no, people, said, people really need to know this about, oh, you know. shit. What happened? Damn, I think the wasp. That's all right. I shouldn't curse. I'm sorry. No, oh, no, no, it's all right. Um, a wasp bit him. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll survive. Um, okay, I live very low to the ground. Okay. Very low to the ground. Okay. Um, uh, when I, like, for instance, when I was on, uh, uh, man, when I was on, uh, 14th Street, the rent was pretty low. So right. I was there. And I, no, I was working for the School of Visual Arts. It wasn't. Okay, you know, so you was working for the school. So you had a you had a check. You had a, a day gig. Yeah. yeah, then. Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right, all right. And then when, but, then, but, then, but that was that was before BAI. Okay. Then when, when BAI, when I did get paid for BAI, um, I did a little hustles. Like I said, well, I was artist, artist model for a little bit. But then when I started getting in BAI, they did pay me for some engineering things. Okay. Oh, I know what it is. I was, um, for some reason, I was, I was living, my sister was, I was living. Uh, my sister had a room uh, 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 up in the Bronx, mm -hmm. not in the Bronx, uh, yeah, in the Bronx. So I was living there, so I'd have to pay rent there, okay. you know, like that. But I was always, but but they would, 
my sister, everybody would support me because they knew I was doing community work, if you want to put okay, it that okay, way. Okay, okay, like okay. So you were subsidized. Yeah, exactly. You know, but then when I became... I have community subsidy. By the community, <laughs> which is very important. Yeah, no, my... my and you bought it because you were taking care of the community. So it's all makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So there, so so that's that's basically so so when I became arts director, I got a little money, whatever have you. But okay. when I became arts, it was by by accident. I did not want to become arts director. Okay. Yeah, remember, I'm an art. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an audio right. dramatist. Yeah. I'm not a bureaucrat. Right. And I told him, I said, look, the only uh, uh that I only management I know is stage management. I mean, I could fit everything in, but I'm not. You know, I'm, uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. In fact, when I became arts director, it was quite by accident. Not by accident. I put my name in. Oh, that's right. Was, I put my name in for Arts Department. I said, I said every, whoever gets this job has to beat me on paper because the Arts Department was decimated. They were yeah. just doing bad things. It was my department. Right. And, uh, that's why I, I said, they beat me on paper. So then I totally forgot. I was, do, I was doing some big plays that I was doing. Uh, uh, whatever. I was not thinking. Then they said, oh, uh, do an interview. I did an interview. And like months later, they said, oh, you're an Arts Director. I said, what? Because uh? I was doing normal radio. I had this whole plot to only work three days a week. I have four days I could that's do over. Well, that's right. Yeah, but as, as art director, that was yeah, over. Yeah. But a lot of other things happened too. But I was doing normal radio. I had to give up normal radio because I knew as an administrator, I couldn't do a radio program. Normal radio was very complicated. I had to take a whole week to do it and then recover. It was really an amazing project. I love normal radio when I was doing it. So what happened is basically, uh, 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 they, pff, there he is, chump. Uh, uh, so he, uh, so that's what that's what happened. I became arts director, and I and I I, I, I told him I said, look, I can only do this job for three years because I'm leaving. I got I got things to do, you know, and and they and they and basically Samori asked me to stay another year, so I became arts for four years. But even when I was leaving, nobody believed I was leaving because of the job. Nobody was going to fire me. I was doing an excellent job. All kinds of awards. People were excited. I, the station was. Blah, blah, blah. I had that station. I had the station hopping because you know, right. no matter what department you were in, somehow you know blah, blah, they would do stuff. You know, but I mean, Michelle Kaku played the the, the Red Queen right. <laughs> in, in Alice stories. You know, right. we, we all kinds of people doing all kinds of things. You know. Amalie from the court, they, everybody was in the plays, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's it. I mean, uh, I, I, okay, so I was, I, I, I said, look, I gotta leave, man. I gotta, I gotta go. And, and I had, oh, I know what it is. I was doing audio drama and people knew about what I was doing internationally because I was part of this organization. They knew internationally. In fact, I had, it, it, anyway. So what happened was, um, uh, oh, I got an opportunity to go and do a workshop in South Africa. Okay, there we go. That, that's at, at, at Bush Radio, All right? Because I had done a workshop. I had done a workshop in Milan, Italy, you know, yeah. for this thing. And 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 and, and, and Zane was so. And he said, "Oh, it was so great. You got to. I got to get you down Bush Radio. I, you got to come and do our thing." I said, "Yeah, yeah." I was arts director at the time, and I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah." Whatever. It is. And he he kept on calling every few months. He would kept on calling. Look, we're trying to get the money. We're trying to get money. I said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." So at the same time, I. What happened? happened at the same time oh I oh at the same time I when did I have my little accent oh that was later I don't oh that was after that okay my timeline is all messed up I I was working for democracy now I got money from there oh I quit art I quit art, I, I, I started traveling I worked with, I started traveling before, I just started traveling. I did that workshop. Uh, I did that workshop and, uh, oh, and that's what, I had an incident with the sea. That's when I had, I was paralyzed for like three days. And right. da, da, da. I was recuperating in Washington, D.C. That's what it was. And what was that? What was that? Did they find auto moon? Where's auto moon? No, no, that wasn't it. I was, uh, I, uh, uh, um, I had an incident with the, the wave put me up and it snapped me down. I snapped my head back and I was, I could tell I was, I was drowned. Okay. I was whatever, and they put me in the hospital for three. For three, I was in ICU for three days. Yeah. I was telling me they said they had to operate. I didn't take the operation. Basically, I walked myself back to health. This was in 2002. Yeah. That's when I left yeah. democracy. Now, 2002 for a year, I was in a neck brace. Yeah. But, I, but but luckily, I was. You know how it goes. The sister, Nikinji, she had an apartment up there in Silver Spring, Maryland, and we were an item. So I spent the year recuperating at her apartment. They had a nice, it was a thing, it was a, some sort of subsidy thing. They had a gym. It was really interesting. So I, you know, and then right before then, uh, I, 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 you know, our relationship ended and I ended up, uh, what do you call it, being, um, uh, 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 it, it, the, what do you call that, uh, PFW, 
they had this program. Your, your, your sister station. That's right. And they started a new program called Peace Watch or something Catch like that. Stick. Yeah, and they needed. Oh yeah, Katia Stitt, who, who, who Sonny Rollins, or but I mean, Sonny uh, Stitt, uh, uh, Sonny, Stitt. uh, Sonny Stitt's uh, daughter. She also she also donated a kid, one of her kidneys to Sekou. Right. Small she, world. She, she, she's, uh, she's the art, I think she's the arts program there now. Yeah, that, maybe she is. I have to try to. Good friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Well, we know each other, you know, but we never, you know, really connect. We knew each other. We talked, whatever it is. Um, so I was there for like three months. We were doing this program, Peace Watch. The same thing I was doing with Democracy Now, picking the music, the thing, the thing. But plus, I was edu ed ed editing for them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, but uh, but then he wanted to give me a contract. But at the same time, Zane came through with this thing. At the same time, another sister I knew wanted me to come to the Dominican Republic and do a thing. So I had those three choices. So I went to South Africa. Okay. And I, because I just recuperated, I said, oh, here's what I'll do. I'll be, I'll, I'll take this worldwide trip and I'll just do a healing trip. You know what I mean? Right. So I spent three months in South Africa giving it a workshop. And then I, you know, uh, then I then I went to do my little trip to India and stuff like that. Ended up in Bangkok and doing the course in South Africa. I met, I met somebody. So of course I went back to South Africa and I stayed there. And I started to do stuff there, and then, and then well, Bob Junkle, as I say. Uh, basically, one, one, one time I was just chilling, and next time I, I had an office at, in, at, at a place called Ladassa. I was teaching at UCT, and I said my home office. So I was like, one month I'm not doing, I'm just chilling. But I had, I had a lot of money from that stuff. I was just chilling. Yeah. And then, the, then, before you know it, I was teaching at UCT, for this, this little course, and I was doing this thing for this place called Ladassa. Uh, uh, recording for that. We were doing, we were doing audio drama at Dasa. That's what it was. And, and so that's what. So basically, I've been there since and, and, and I do all these kind of initiatives. That's where I met Antonio because uh, I had come to a trip to New York when I came back. They were just starting Pan African Space Station. I said, Well, you don't need a stage manager. They didn't think about that. You go, No, just say, You need a production stage manager. You know, but that's how I got it with them. And then that next year, I started to do a, uh, uh, I, did, I really was production race stage manager for them. And so that's what that's an incredible. And this is past Pan African Space Station, mm -hmm. and so that, that's that's it. That's how, so I just been there ever since, you know. Sweet. And then uh, like uh, about uh, five years, about seven years ago, I, I met the sister, you know. And then about five, then we went to, then uh, then I'm, I I was doing do a, a course at uh, uh, University of Fort so I'm, I'm University of Fort Hare. So I I moved to uh, Alice, and she went with me. That we because of the situation when you're in a little town, whatever have you. Uh, we got married, so because she's, you know, she's, she's fine. So people try to rap on her. She looks. People try to rap on me. So basically, they can't bother us because of the codes, you know. Okay. Like that. So that was one. Of, not not saying that we love each other, West stuff, but I'm just saying that was we probably would have never got married because I wasn't. With her, but you know, if we stayed in Cape Town. So anyway, so I was just saying no because she has, you know, we have she has an older child, my children, are old, right. and, and like that. So it wasn't a, a case, you know. We just enjoy each other's company. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so. so so that's what happened, and so uh, um, and then you know one thing led to another, and, and here here I am, but but now you know I, I want to. So I'm gonna say right. So here you are, because Anthony, you're one of these people. Like for me, it's about this thing about the the diaspora. So mm -hmm. you've been spending time in on the continent now mm -hmm. for almost 2003. Oh man, almost 25 years now. 20 years. Well, 20 years. 20 yeah, years. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, and and you still have roots here, and 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 like we're 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 fluid transient people in the sense that we 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 understand that the the, the issue is is international, yes. and and you and you can flow international, you can flow international now. So what do you see like how what is the next step like the connection here like you you know you come in back here and you're doing projects here you never left here okay you never you you're bi you're really bi coastal you are you bi continental bi continental you're bi continental. Mm. Well, I also have some. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, in my work in Southern Africa, I have a certain way of teaching. You know what I mean? My work in Southern Africa is very. What are you doing in Africa? What are you doing in South Africa? Okay, right now. And who I, is Zane? His name keeps coming. Well, out. Zane Ibrahim, they, he, he used to be, he, peace and blessings upon his children. He used to be the guy in charge of Bush Radio okay. in, in, in Cape Town. All right. You know, big buckety muck, but you know, now all these buck buckety mucks, how they are. You know, everybody's sort of like, you know, they want to be king or whatever happened. I want to get into all this stuff. But anyway. Well, right now I'm working with I'm working with young people in a place called Dembaza, and working in a, in a village. And what, what, what I use audio drama, I always use audio drama for community development. Yeah. And so because of my presence, because of what we do, they it's this whole thing where if you could, uh, because they, they come together because it's, it's something else for them to do. Uh, even at the church in Shabin now, there's something else for them to do. They start writing, and now we we moving along. They they're doing all kinds of things like like, like they. 
like I said, they they grow. They have moringa trees. They'll be doing the moringa leaves, which thing. They have they're doing a they're, they have a they're doing a what do you call it bamboo uh, forest, not forest, but little things so they can do furniture, all kinds of things. They be spreading out with Petty, another area. They're working in Petty. So all these young people do. I'm just like a senior advisor. <laughs> okay. And but I here's what I see. Here's what I see. We have a problem, right? And especially see people who who, who say that they're pan Africanists, right? They say that's that's good. It's ideology, but but everybody will tell you you still need money, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so and, and and people want to move to Africa. I said, look, man, I I, I tell everybody, before you go, please, you, especially for you middle class, you got some. And I really need to know that yeah, because this is that you you talking to people who want to go to Africa, spend time in Africa. Yeah, yeah. I tell them no, they want to live in Africa. Right. So I tell them you got to go spend beyond three weeks in whatever area you think of, whatever country you're in. To talk to people, see what the vibe is, da 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 da, all the rest of that stuff before you make a decision to say to move to Tanzania or, or Rwanda or, or Uganda or Ghana, whatever or South Africa. Before you think you're going to go there, you really because people don't understand. People still, they're still Africans. They still look at you as a dollar sign. Walking dollar sign. You know, but this is if you're a tourist, if you if you go any place in the world, it's the same thing. If you're American, they wear a dollar sign. And I noticed you said all English speaking countries. Yeah, yeah, but that, that's because that's where people want to go. But no, no, same thing. If you can go to Senegal, if you're French speaking, it'd be easy. I mean, you know, I'm just made, made But we are a walking dollar sign no matter what. Yeah. That's from my, that's somebody who's been constantly, over my, you know, from starting to work with Abdullah Ibrahim and working working with a lot of a lot of people from the continent. My whole thing going to fe going 1977. I went to the continent for the first time. I went to the fest day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sun Rock. We went oh, to the fest yeah. day. So my whole thing is always being bicontinental now, mm -hmm. and I really understand now that I really have to spend more time on the continent. Yeah. Africa. You do, you do. No, you do. If you if you're serious about if you're a serious Pan Africanist, and you got some resources, or you have a group, you need to go. You know what I mean? And I know people take these trips to Egypt or whatever they get, but they're in a tourist group, and you're going to be treated. Like a tourist, and I'm not talking about Africa staying at the the Ritz Thank Hotel. You. It's a go live Thank in you. the neighborhood yeah. where people live. That's why I say I live in a village mm -hmm. right now. You know what I mean? And right now I just, I'm moving to what's called a location. You know, we were what about the crime? They say, look, I grew up in the South Bronx. I can't tell you, it's a vibe. You know what I mean? A criminals know, criminals understand vibe. You know what I mean? If you know you're gonna come to me, it's gonna hurt. You gonna and there's somebody else coming down the street. Da da da. Now remember, I'm, I'm the only American, black American, miles around, so a lot of people know who I am. But also, I've, here's the secret to travel. If you really want to travel, here's the secret to travel. Do not wear good shoes. Wear decent shoes, but not good shoes. Right. Do not come, do, leave all your darn jewelry at home. I'm talking about your, your gold or whatever have you. you. You do wooden, whatever have you. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, let me tell you a little story. When I was in Brazil, <laughs> I was with these this, this middle class people. I wasn't with them, but I, whatever. They were all there. They were there. They did. We're gonna barter with with the Brazilians and the natives, right? And here they are. You have somebody leaning over with all this gold dripping down with gold things and gold watch, and bartering with some trying to get a lower price with. It. And, and you know the guys right there. That one gold necklace can feed my family for a year. What, what, why don't you give me my price or uh, up the price? And I, it blew my mind. It just, what I'm trying to say, a lot of the people, I don't want to say that. People, so, if you go to Africa because you are, you, are, you are an American or you think you're going to be, I don't know what, I don't know what you're thinking. But the problem is, I just don't understand. No, it's, it's why, because, why because, bring yourself there? Because we, we, we are, we are different. And we don't, we don't, we don't think we're different. We're very different because like you said, that little one ring you got on your finger could just like feed my family for a while. Mm -hmm. I have friends right now in Cuba and uh, they're doing really bad. You know, we, we really don't understand mm -hmm. abject poverty. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we, don't, That's we, right. we don't understand, we don't know nothing about abject poverty. Mm -hmm. You know, being able like to have running water, mm -hmm. to really run, to, you know, have running water. When I, when I go to the continent, I see these little kids and they got these big ass plastic things on yep. their head yep. and stuff like that. Yep. And they're going to gather water. Meanwhile, in my house, we run running the water like it's just like, the tap is just running. I'm like, cut that damn water off. I should say this, I should say, I always live low to the ground. Right. But one other thing is that I had to think of, I was on the unsequestered monk tour, which basically the, I'm a monk, but I'm not in a, in a monastery. But let me show you, where I live right now, where I'm living right now in Zimbabwe, there's no running water in where I am, mm -hmm. right? Uh, 
I have, you have the hose pipe, right? And, and, and of course the toilet <laughs> is outhouse, right? Mm -hmm. And so what I have to do, well, I don't have to carry the water, you know, I just, you know, that, well, you know, just buckets. So I, I, I bucket you really wash. Low, you really, I, really low, I, low I, no, Well, I bucket wash. When I, when I was, one of my favorite places on the planet is Belize. And I used to love Belize because you could bucket wash in Belize. Oh, well, I'm putting my hand on the stake. I'm sorry. You could bucket wash in Belize. I love bucket washing. I can't explain it to you. It's wonderful. Talk about conservation, but that's me, you know. Okay, anyway, so, so, so that's, I'm just trying to say, if you, if you have grown up middle class, I'm just saying middle class, and you experience middle class, and you were some, and now you're say, I don't say sixty, and you're used to a certain com comfort. You, you, you know, that means you're gonna have to have that same comfort over there, over there. and that means that you're gonna have to have a, a, a community that's that, and that, a God, and an all, yeah. all that with it. Because you know. even if you don't have some, they think you got some, and then you're, you're I'm gonna say it this way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're dumb behind. It's gonna bring all your opulence over to a, a, a you know, mm -hmm. people think they have to, unless you're eating dirt, you don't know what poverty is. Okay. If you're sure eating dirt, you don't know what poverty is, and so I mean, it's I, it's 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 what it it's it's, it's bad. You no, know, they're, they're not poor in South Africa, but there are places, whatever have you, you know. So I I don't you know. Not just no man. It's, it's got, no no. There's, there's, there's poverty. There's real poverty. There's poverty right here. We don't know about. Yeah, you know. Oh, Mississippi. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, you know. But here, I would say I, I wanted to give a solution here. I think the first thing you should do is have some sort of relationship. There. Like for instance, um, I would I would rather go to a goat herder and say, "Hey, I want I want uh, um, uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I want you to uh, take care of these three goats or these four goats for me, right? I'll pay you whatever have you, right? And then we'll split whatever it is. So I'm helping him out. I'm getting something, right? Mm -hmm. Or better still, I get a show goat which shows for a lot more money. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But somebody who knows about goats is doing it for me. I got the money, the wherewithal, right. like being a gentleman farmer, you know what I mean? So that's how you would help. In other words, I'm helping the goat herder out. I'm getting a little something. I'm not the using goat herder, but I mean, any kind of project. But do not. But I would say do not think of some, what a huge project where it ultimately it's the European who's controlling it and not, and not, the, not, the, not the locals. Mm -hmm. Okay, but look, you know, I, that's, that's, that, that's it. But if, if you want to ask me about COVID and stuff like that, well, right now what they're doing, well, at least... Yeah, very I, much so. I really want to know... Like you know, we hear we hear South Africa is hot. Yeah, it depends. It's like it's even with the weird. virus, South, HIV, South Africa was hot. Yeah, uh, yes, yes, and yes. yes and no. Yes, the point is when you see that. Remember, they're telling you they give you statistics, but remember, it's it's, it's in certain areas, a certain certain enclaves, and like that. It's like the states. You know I mean, if you can say, oh, uh, 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 it's it's hot. Detroit is a murder. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Well, well, that's Detroit. That doesn't mean anything to us. Maybe a report does have it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's different like that. I'm, I can only speak for COVID is still there, mm -hmm. right? But in my area, what happens is people are not looking at, they, 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 they have to, they're not looking at TV because they're giving you the doom and gloom and they're not giving you, it's, 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 people are trying, that people are trying, they're, they're walking, they're, 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 they're outside, you know what I mean? There, there, there are some deaths, but not any more than it would normally be for, for a flu or something like that. Um, they, uh, the young kids, nobody's wearing masks down where I, but they, may, they wear masks when they get in a taxi, when they yeah. go to stores, stuff like that. But for generally, you know, locations down, nobody's wearing a mask. You know, but uh, I wear, I mean, I, just, just as an example, but, you know, I, 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 you know I, I don't know what to tell you other than it's, it's some, some places like Joburg, right, is hot. when I came here, Joburg is a hot spot right, right now. Cape, you couldn't fly, nobody could fly in or out of Joburg. Oh, okay. But I came through, through Cape Town because I never go to Joburg. And I flew out of Cape Town. All I have to do is have a negative test. So that's that's what happened. So why you so, go to okay, let me say this. Remember, this is gonna be people gonna see this. People from Joburg not gonna like this. Okay, what well, you? I don't go there, so I don't care what they like or don't like. You know? No, I have these feelings. I, I can go to a place and I have a feeling of it. Like when I was in Cape Town, I knew okay, I can be in Cape Town. When I was went to uh, to Dumbaz, especially not just Alice, Dumb Dumbaz, I can be here. I remember, I just went, I just, I never been to Memphis, Tennessee, right? Okay. But when I uh, went to the airport, yes, I the airport, whatever it is, I felt the vibe, I know. You know, so I, 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 I exist on another, on spiritual level also. Mm -hmm. I, I pay attention to my spiritual level. That's mm -hmm. all I, that's all I can say. But Joburg, I just don't know, man. They're just too money hungry. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not a money person. Yeah, that, that's, that's what it is. In fact, all the people that, that all the art scene that was in Cape Town, they all moved to Joburg because they need the money. Because uh, uh, Cape Town is being gentrified or whatever it is, you know? Mm. 
It's not the same. And when you come with gentrification, people don't understand. It's not just the, the laws that they have gentrified, they have their laws. They, they create laws that never been before, blah, 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 blah. So that's it. So I'm saying COVID is there. Yes, people are coping. But remember, people are healthy. They, they eat healthy. They don't, you know, blah, 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 all the rest of that stuff. Yeah. But the hospitals, I, I, I had to get an x-ray before I came. So I had to go help. There's no, oh, no beds, okay. no, there's no, nothing like that. There may be some other places. Maybe you mean there's no beds or? No, no, there's no, there's no, there's no overflow. They're COVID not, is not, okay, not okay, people okay. are in the hallway. All right. But that's, that's, in, that's in the Eastern Cape. That's in Alice. Mm -hmm. What happens in Cape Town or Joburg, mm -hmm. I don't, you know, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what's people's uh, take on the vaccine? It depends. Again, it depends. If you watch TV all the time, you're going to do it. But uh, most people, if you if you got if you necessary, you, if you if you have a certain job, you might want to do it because of blah blah blah. But you know, if you don't, most people don't have jobs, so I don't know <laughs> what that is. You know, so I don't I don't know what to tell you. Um, you know, it just it depends. It's an individual choice. Now, if enough people get vaccinated, you know, and you do the courtesy thing with the mask. That's the thing, but it's individual choice. You see, so that's what it is. It's the way it goes. So listen, I'm gonna have to close down. I am. Yeah, yeah. I need to, you know, one of these three. Um, what time is it? I got one of these three o'clock zooms on. Oh, okay. I'm living in the zoom world. Oh, yeah. well, do it. Do it. I thank you for this time. In fact, I gotta go because I'm, I was at the. I gotta move my stuff to Brooklyn now, so I'm gonna. Where? Where you moved know. when? I'm at the hostel over there. Which You're, one over in uh, Amsterdam? Yeah. Yeah. I like that place. I, I like, but it, it, it was interesting because the, I, I, I went right back to when I used to travel, you know, like that. All well, these travels, whatever it is. So anyway, I, 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 I talked to this Brazilian guy earlier. But it was nice. Anyway, so, uh, so I got to move from there and um, uh, Brooklyn, and then I'll be here for a month. I go to uh, Virginia for a month. In, uh, August, September, I go to uh, St. Louis. And then I come well, back to. to I will be no, Don. I'm going to be. I'm at all this every Friday this month. I'll be there. Okay. You know, no, 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 no. Well, I'm in New York. I'm there. I know. I got the information. Go you well, man. Thanks. Thanks.